Hello guys, in this video we will compare TVS Jupiter 125 and Suzuki Bugman 125. First of all, engine capacity. Here you can see in both of them, the engine capacity is around 125 cc. But if you come with the power, here more power is for Suzuki Bergman 125, 8.4 bhp is the maximum power. But in Jupiter 125, 8.03 bhp is the maximum power. If you come with torque, among these two, more torque is Jupiter 125, 10.5 Nm. And there is a difference of 0.5 Nm in terms of torque between these two. Now let's consider undersea storage. Here you can see in Jupiter 125, 33 liter is the undersea storage. But in Bugman 125, you can see 21.5 liter is the undersea storage. If you compare fuel to capacity, here you can see 0.4 liter difference is there in terms of fuel to capacity between these two. And more is for Suzuki Bergman 125. 5.5 liter is the fuel to capacity of Suzuki Bergman 125. Now when we come to the mileage, among these two, Jupiter 125 really dominates. Around 55 Campbell is the on road mileage. But in Suzuki Bergman, you can see around 48 Campbell is the on road mileage. Now let's consider wheelbase. Here, among these two, more wheelbase is for Suzuki Bergman 125, 1290 mm. But 1275 mm is the wheelbase of Jupiter 125. Now, if you come with the curve weight, among these two, more curve weight is for Suzuki Bergman 125, 111 kg, you can see. But in Jupiter 125, 108 kg is the curve weight. Here, we had to specify the braking time. Type. Synchronized braking technology is used in Jupiter 125, but copy braking system is used in Suzuki Bergman 125. In both of them, when you apply the back brake, both front and back will be applied simultaneously. It is entirely different from the ABS concept. Now, let's consider seat head. Here you can see more seat head is for Suzuki Bergman 125, 780 mm. But in Jupiter 125, you can see 765 mm is the seat height. If you come with the ground clearance, among these two, more ground clearance is for Jupiter 125, 163 mm. But in Suzuki Bugman, you can see 160 mm is the ground clearance. Now, lengthways, when you do the comparison, among these two, more length is for Suzuki Bugman 125, 1875 mm. But in Jupiter 125, 1852 mm is the total length. Here, the compression ratio really matters. Among these two, more compression ratio is for Jupiter 1. And for both of them, the compression ratio is in the medium range. Now let's consider the cooling system. Yes, air cooling is used in these two scooters for cooling the engine. And second, you can see the fuel delivery system is fuel injection in these two scooters. Now, when we come to top speed, you can see both are able to reach around 95 kmph, but we strongly recommend not to go about 90 kmph in these two scooters. Finally, guys, when you compare surprise, you can see Bergman 125 is more costier in comparison to Jupiter 125. On the screen, you can see the actual price the base models of these two scooters so guys that sense for you if you like this video press the like button share this free maximum subscribe to my channel if you're in doubt write in comment section thank you